finally, finally, it's been so long. It's been delayed numerous times, but now it's finally here. There's still hope for you, new mutants. <laughs> Probably not. All right, so My Spy is directed by Peter Seagal, and it stars Dave Bautista, Ken Jeong, Chris Anshaw, and it's about a very tough spy played by Bautista, who one day is caught by a 10-year-old, and she asks him to train her to be a spy in a way, and he has to find out who might be stalking her mother, essentially. So this movie, I remember, they promoted this movie last year. I remember it was in front of movies like uh, Detective Pikachu and Aladdin and such, and the movie kept getting pushed back and pushed back. It's like, oh, it's supposed to come out this summer. Oh, no, we don't have the money to promote it. We're going to push it to January. No, we're going to want to show it during spring break, so we're going to push it to March. And then the week before it was supposed to come out in March, they literally pushed it back to April, probably because of the pandemic. And then they just said, screw it, let's just put it on Amazon Prime. And overall, like, I remember seeing those trailers as well and thinking, they did not look good. It looked like a movie that was supposed to come out in, like, 2005, 2006, uh, like, with Pacifier, and Are We There Yet? Movies with uh, tough guys, doing stuff with kids, and, like, you know, playing with fire. God. I can't forget that movie. And I was kind of worried this was going to be another Playing With Fire, a movie that I just know, just know. But, uh, thankfully, this movie isn't nearly as bad as that movie. And dare I say, I actually kind of laughed in this movie. Okay, well, this movie's not that good. And, but it's not terrible either, I would say. Uh, it's occasionally funny. I found myself laughing a few times throughout the movie. Not sporadically enough, but enough to say, eh, it's better than I expected. Uh, particularly from the main stars I mentioned, Dave Bautista, Kristen Shaw, Ken Jeong. Each of them are funny in their own way. So I thought that was really good. Also, uh, Chloe Coleman, she plays the, the kid in the movie. She was also really good as well. Uh, the action is fine, I guess. It's not like, it's not really focused on the action. It's more focused on the comedy and the family angle, I guess. And it's all right, I guess. Uh, what I don't like about this movie, there's a lot of weird music choices in this movie. Like, the music feels like it should be straight out of an indie movie. Not a movie like My Spy. It just seemed weird. It just seemed off-putting, and it just didn't really work for me, I guess. Um, there's a lot of scenes in this movie that don't really feel connected. Like, um, they kind of just happen, and there's almost no consequences to these actions. Like, you kind of see most of it in the trailer. Um, there's one that's like, oh, Chris and Shaw actually wants to be a spy. And they do kind of bring it up again towards the end. It's not much, but they tried in one scene to connect stuff. And like I said, like, occasionally I laughed. Like, oh, that's funny. And, oh, uh, that wasn't funny. But it's not like the humor was, like, crossing a line for me or was, like, really offensive or anything. But that's also the weird thing I don't like about this movie. Well, at least Playing With Fire was PG. My Spy's PG-13. And I'm like, why is this movie PG-13? Because you say certain words more than once. This movie honestly could have been PG and probably would have been fine. Like, just... Like, who... Like, with a PG-13 rating, like, who are you trying to go for? Like, are, is the movie trying to go for family audiences because you rated it PG-13? Also, it's really going out to, like, teens and adults, but they're not going to see it because it's mostly a movie targeted towards family. So I'm like... Who's this movie really for? All I can tell you is that it's not really for me. Overall, My Spy is not nearly as bad as I would have expected, considering all the delays and connections to other movies. But, and occasionally it can provide a laugh, but it's just not, it's just not a great time, unfortunately. It tries in certain areas, and it fails in others. I'll give My Spy two out of four stars, stream it. Which, eh, that's actually better than what I probably would have given it. So, what's your favorite uh, action comedy? I don't know. What's your favorite spy movie? I think that's a better question. Uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat, and stay safe.